Hey guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, dude. To go back to my roots of horror stuff, I've been waiting for another video from Nuke and Bizarre, but as always, they've been uploading very slowly and taking two to three business months to upload for the meantime we have chills this is recommended by josh he recommended me like a thousand different type of chills videos this one is 12 scariest encounters made by youtubers i'm kind of curious of what us youtubers encountered this is an older video but nonetheless i'm a youtuber youtubers encounter some stuff so why not just make a youtube video about youtubers because i'm a youtuber yeah Let's just get into the video. Thank you, Josh, again for the recommendation. Whew. Whether it's with vicious animals, oh God, voice. psychopaths, or the paranormal realm, none of these encounters would have become famous without the assistance of YouTube. Number 12. Downright Dives is a three-man team of dumpster divers who go through the trash looking for discarded valuables. They comb through a series of dumpsters without incident, mostly coming across old rotten food. They're True. searching through the last couple of dumpsters when one of them makes a startling discovery. What, a raccoon? No, 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 no. Who's in there, guys? Guys, guys, guys. Who's in there? I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Neither of his two friends believe that there could have been somebody lying at the bottom of the dumpster. They just have to take a closer look for themselves. Why? That box right there just moved. I'm not even joking. That one. That one. No. Go, 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 go. The camera doesn't get a clean shot, but you can hear a man pop up from underneath the boxes and screams that he owns everything inside of the dumpster. According to the description, it was a homeless man who continued to come after them and even got into a physical altercation off camera. I'm on the fence with this one since we never get a chance to see the homeless True. person in question. Also, living in a dumpster is a stereotype about homeless people that is rarely true. True. So this encounter is very unlikely. Let me know yeah. if you agree. Staged. Number 11. Core Sun is a YouTuber who claims that his old apartment was haunted to the point where he had to leave. When he finally moved into a different location, it didn't take long for the spirits to follow him there too. Core Sun claims he has to have made this video after feeling a familiar presence watching over him while he was eating a meal. He studies the chair for a bit and decides to challenge the spirit's power. Mm -hmm. After this, he quickly ran upstairs and uploaded the video to YouTube. Granted, we could not see the entire chair from this angle, so I guess there could have been something wrapped around the chair legs to make it look like it was moving on its own. This would require another person to pull off though. And as far as I can tell, Core's son was completely alone. We'll never know for sure, but I would like to hear your best guess as to the legitimacy of this video. Number 10. I always believe in my skepticism. I need the full, full picture. I don't need a above shot or whatever. I want a 360 camera. I want to see the legs of the chair. I want to make sure there's nobody still going like this and pulling it below the camera. I always have a wild imagination and I maybe could believe in spirits, but I need a thousand percent validation. The camera was only showing like basically from the seat up parts of the you know, legs of the chair. I need to see the damn legs, all of it full tire thing not just part of it come here Ayla. that's scary emma is too afraid to come into her parents room because she says she can see a bad man in there with them 
When her mother asks to point where the person is, she indicates that it's in a dark closet which is open. The mother examines the closet. She doesn't see anything, but she seems to get an uneasy feeling that matches her daughter's emotions. When comes the kids, what I believe you? them. My daddy? Okay, go get daddy. The child turns around and freezes. She is too afraid to move without her mother following closely behind her. There's something about this video that seems very dark and genuine. Obviously, the mother felt a presence too, or she would have not uploaded this video with the title of Two-Year-Old Girl Sees Ghost Again. Overall, Again? more information is needed before I make a final judgment, but let me know if you think Emma was seeing something that her parents could not on that night. Kids Number are more nine. sensitive to in the afterworld, the YouTuber was finishing afterlife. up a hiking trail in Fernie, British Columbia, I when an unwanted intruder decided to make him its intended prey well then that is a mountain lion yeah and mountain lions me. a wild mountain lion emerges from the tall brush with its head low to the ground ready to pounce the man instinctively turns and runs but then he regains his wits and stops to confront his aggressor i am much bigger than you I'm way not more powerful. They're bigger, bigger but not stronger. Lion seems surprised at this bold reaction, but then it quickly blends into its surroundings again and regains the upper hand. I'll be crawling back. Eventually, it's spotted again a few more times as it prowls along the trail close by. The two eventually end up staring at each other from a short distance. As the showdown comes to a tense close, the mountain lion seems unsure and eventually wanders off. It may have lost for now, but in another year or two, I'm sure the animal would have undoubtedly grown into a much larger threat. Number 8 yeah. Mega That's why you get a knife. A YouTuber who has been experiencing all sorts of strange paranormal activity throughout their home. Sometimes it's something simple like a potted plant wobbling on its own, and sometimes it's much more malevolent. See, this is like f things I kind of prefer. I'm seeing the whole kitchen. Wow. Mega Skelly 11 claims that this is a poltergeist. And after reviewing this video, I have to agree. There's just too much going on at once to easily fake this in my opinion. And I see no indication that this is a setup. Let me know if you believe this is real or if you have a better explanation. Number seven. Kind of hard Mid to. Jugger Nuggets is a phenomenal name. With stuff in that nature, you got to pull out a lot of effects as in pull here, pull there, do this, do that here, there, up, down, left, right. It's a lot of things you got to do in that footage to make it happen. So stuff like that is a little bit more believable. It's the fact that I can see the whole entire room and like the one with the curtains, hmm, maybe something behind it lifts it up and whatever. That's where you get into unknown territory, but then the flipping of the sofa and then the throwing of the spoons and knives and forks. Those when you get into unknown territory. So could be true, could be not, but it's harder to find explanations. Number seven, Mick Jugger Nuggets is a famous YouTuber who comes home one day only to find evidence of a serious break in. Some of his possessions are missing. Things that he is sure were in his room earlier before. Somebody took the hard drive. Hard drive to what? All my behind the scenes. Somebody literally came into the house and must have taken this shit. I'm going to check the security camera. He argues with his father for a bit about the likelihood of someone breaking in, but the security video does not lie. Hold on, here it comes. Sure enough, some stranger cases the house by knocking on the door a few times, even going so far as trying the knob. Soon he uses a long tool to pry open a window and reaches inside to quickly scoop up a nearby hard drive before taking off. 
Oh my god, dude. Much to Mick Jugger Nugget's amazement, the window was right next to his bed. He soon comes to the sickening realization that this person, who was perhaps a stalker, literally reached into his room to retrieve a hard drive full of unedited video content. Who knows what this deranged fan will come back for next time. Number 6. Thandre Groundlaw. Idelstein recorded this bizarre encounter with his phone in 2016 to show that it was haunted and many people have agreed with him ever since. What's really weird is how this phone apparently waits until Michael is almost finished recording and then hits a completely different number, followed by two sevens and an asterisk. I can't say for sure if this is paranormal or not, because it could just be a glitch or maybe even water on the screen. I was already just thinking water. If you've ever had anything odd like this happen to your phone, and if you are a phone technician, tell me what the odds are of this happening to such a wide variety of buttons at once. True. Number five. A YouTuber named Sans the Skeleton 101 thinks he may have seen a monster lurking in his yard. A monster? Yeah, the 3P. This object looks like it could be a creature on all fours, but I'm just not sure. A it doesn't tub? really seem to be moving and could just easily be a pile of dirt. Whatever it is, it sends Sans the Skeleton 101 running back into his house in terror. Let me know what you think in it terror. was. Terror. If you think he was really in any significant danger at the time. Number 4. Carter is making a YouTube video to show off his expensive new roof, but he accidentally catches something lurking inside his home during the process. Mm. That's right. New roof. Uh, I Shield think I saw it. Delivered today. Old roof was torn off yesterday. Yep, I saw it. New roof will be put on tomorrow. A giant oversized face is staring directly at Carter through his own window oversized on the left hand side. You can see its eyes, mouth, and nose have been shaded perfectly to form a ghoulish expression. I've watched this video many times and I still can't tell if this is truly the face of a ghastly creature or just a reflection of trees uh, outside. I thought if it was it like a person like this. A tree, then I find now I see what it is. Or branches don't seem to be moving at all. It really does look like an unblinking face staring straight ahead. Carter does not seem to notice and continues filming for quite some time. Number three. Okay. It's a rainy day in Bradford, Pennsylvania, and a YouTuber named Bulldog is with his girlfriend in the backyard. They are taking random videos and talking about nothing in particular when they encounter something that makes them think they are not so alone after all. Did I see this one before? Yeah, I've seen this. Yep. Whoa. That was weird. I just saw something run across the screen. Liar. Some sort of smoke or mist appears to briefly transform into the shape of a person, taking a few brisk steps and then fully dissipates. Bulldog says it looked like someone who is running, and I agree that it does resemble the upper torso and shoulders of someone in motion. With yeah. that said, it looks to me like the figure may also be lacking a head. Number two, this is Papa Jake torso. is returning to a haunted sewer tunnel that he explored once before. But this sewer time, tunnel? it's 3 a.m. He and his friends think that a large sewer creature might be down there, so they bring a lot of extra equipment, like motion sensors and night vision, to capture it on video. Their first encounter happens not in the tunnel itself, but rather in the surrounding woods. Something's in the nest! Something's in the nest! Something is in the nest! What appears to the be nest? some type of humanoid creature scampers across the forest floor on all fours, only one of the two friends see it, so I guess he manages to convince himself that it was nothing, and they continue to press on. A short while later, they finally locate the tunnel. They are very deep inside when a strange and haunting moan convinces them to get out of there fast. Oh, what was that? What was that? 
The noise is coming from the same direction they just came from, so Papa Jake and his friend try to outrun the creature at a fast pace, taking blind turn after blind turn for a full five minutes. It isn't long before they find themselves wandering down an oversized pipe, completely lost. Whatever is chasing them, on the other hand, apparently knows every last twist and turn of this labyrinthian cesspit and finds them quickly. At this point, they all stopped recording to run for their lives. Papa Jake now feels he has sufficient evidence of the rake, and I doubt he will ever go back there. As always, be sure to let me know if you think this is real or not based on what you've seen. Their reactions all seem very genuine, but there's always the possibility of special effects. Before First we get to number one, acting. my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I recently released a small mixtape and I'd love to know what you think of it. Tap the circle icon in the top right corner, then oh, wow, tap the whole my mixtape to give it a listen. It's also linked in the description below. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video I upload every Thursday. Number 1. Cryptid Hunter and two of his friends are returning to a cave that they believe to be haunted. This time, they are using a paranormal investigative technique that I have never seen before. They bring dolls with them into the cave that they believe are already haunted. They want to see how the spirits in the dolls react to the spirits in the cave. Hey, he's using a Pokemon use item finder. Thin rods that the spirits can use to respond to questions. Can you please point the rod to the most haunted doll that's inside this mine? Right, there it goes again. Then the spirits in the cave apparently decide to skip the rods and make their presence known in a much more physical way. What the f is that? <laughs> the smooth cave walls probably have little traction, so the doll could have just fallen over on its own. True. But again, maybe it was really pushed over by an unseen spirit. Clearly, the doll somehow moved. So those are the only two explanations I have. Let me know which one you think it was. Everyone has their own style of camping. Most people have an enjoyable time that they will cherish for years. But for a small percentage of campers, absolute horror is what they find. Here are just some of their document. Oh, that's the little highlight last week. Oh, five years ago, though. Some of these could be explained. Some of these yeah it's harder to explain when you have the full picture it's harder to say you know wire here tape there green screen here uh visual effects here that when you have a very limited view on certain things you birth more people who are like me who are skeptical this one was pretty decent because the last youtuber one i saw kind of rubbing the wrong way with shows because certain people were featured in it or it was just very blankly fake this one has a little bit more genuine reactions and things that seem a little bit more genuine too i like this chills video i haven't seen anything new from chills i haven't looked at anything his like i'm not i haven't looked at anything in his new videos so maybe something new might be something i might watch like i see one on today i'm recording on the 6th of october his last video was 15 scary videos making you never want to leave your home. I might check that one out. So that might be the next video I do myself. So check out next week. Might be the one I do. I just like videos that are almost in the same department as Bizarre and Nuke, which are people investigating. Maybe that's something that Chills does, but everything I've been seeing so far are older videos that Josh is recommending and they are good videos. It was just that one YouTuber video that show me it was like completely completely just fake <laughs> anyway guys i like this video thank you josh so much for the recommendation you should know the deal ya tu sabes 
I love your face. Until next time, peace.